Hello and welcome to Live Canvas. In this video, we're going to show you how to recall and display posts on a Live Canvas page and how to fully customize the way elements are shown. By the way, this will also work not only to display posts, but also to display any kind of custom post types. Well, let's get started with a very simple example, seeing a typical use case. We'll be editing our own livecanvas.com website, which of course is built with Live Canvas. Let's say that our goal is to replace the video on the homepage with a list of the latest posts from our blog. Let's start by opening the block options and choosing Replace Block. Let's then head over to the WordPress integration section and choose the Get Posts element. A list of the latest posts is immediately shown. But what if you want to customize what is shown? Just click the posts. A panel is revealed on the left, allowing you to customize the post query. So here you can, for example, decide that you only want three items and that you don't want posts, but you want pages or some other kind of post type. You can also choose to recall only specific posts or posts from a given category or tag, or to have only those having a custom field set to a specific value. Basically, here you can use all the parameters that you can use with the WordPress Get Posts function. This allows you to precisely define which posts should be recalled. Now let's talk about how to customize the way that posts are displayed. On the upper part of this panel, there is another tab to define the output view. In particular today, I'm going to show you our new dynamic post loop feature, which allows us to use custom templates and gives total flexibility in displaying our posts. In the layout selection, let's choose the dynamic template option. The post view changes immediately. Now let's click on the dynamic templates link and see what's going on. Right now we transfer control for this post view to a new dynamic template that is shown in the backend area called dynamic templates. So we can now edit this template's code and also launch live canvas on it. It looks pretty large right now, so to have a more useful simulation, we can switch the responsive view. In order to have a better understanding on how this post list would look on a narrower space, for example, in a column of another page, as in our case. Here we can edit everything, down to every bit of the HTML code. These templates are basically just HTML with some short codes in it that recall the dynamic elements, such as the post title or category. You can find an extensive documentation page on this topic on our site. Let's now view how we can make a simple example modification. Let's say that we want to change the category badge from the primary to the secondary color. As always with Live Canvas, the Live Preview helps you understand what's going on. Upon saving this post loop template, changes are immediately propagated to the page that recalls this view, which is the site homepage in our case. So let's go back to the homepage. You could just save and then exit or reload to see how the page looks like with the new post loop template. But of course, I don't want to mess up the production site, so to demonstrate this without saving, we can just hit Command P while running the editor to refresh the preview. As you can see now, the modification has been picked as the category label that says Updates is now in gray. That's it. You can customize as you want the dynamic template and recall the same view through multiple pages. On another side, you can also have multiple different post views as well, in case one is not enough. Let's see how this can be done. Start by cloning the post loop template to make a copy of it. Let's rename it and then make a simple modification to this new template just to be able to identify it. I'm going to add just some silly message in the HU saying one more. After publishing the new template, just check the ID which is assigned to it. Let's copy it. In order to recall this custom post loop template, we just need to paste the value in the dynamic template ID field. This is how you can recall all your different post loop templates in your live canvas pages. Okay guys, that's it. 
I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button. By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.